press corps, in the old days at least, used to defend the idea of press independence from the president. They absolutely did. And yeah, you did name that there were some people, but there weren't as many people as there should have been uh, uh, standing up against it. And I think that um, the, what, the, what the administration did, and look, we just even saw this week the president doing it, what he, you know, talking, bringing up, it, I mean, just this gratuitous slam against Fox News at a, at a conversation that's supposed to be this high-minded conversation about poverty, and then he has to, you know, has to put his dig in there and claim, you know, the Fox News treats poor people like, quote-unquote, leeches, and th- this is just par for the course with them. I have an entire chapter on their obsession with delegitim- delegitimizing Fox News, which is, of course, not the role of the government. That's what that is. There are many fine chapters in the silencing, but the war on Fox News may be the best. Let me play the president's attack on Fox News from this week. Here's what he had to say. Six, where you've got the middle class and the question's been, who, who are you mad at if you're struggling? If you're working, but you don't seem to be getting ahead. And over the last 40 years, sadly, I think there's been uh, an effort to either make folks mad at folks at the top or to make mad, uh, be mad at folks at the bottom. Uh, and I think the effort to suggest that the poor are sponges, leeches, are don't want to work, are lazy, you know, uh, are undeserving, got traction. Uh, and, and look, it, it's still being propagated. I, I mean, I have to say that, you know, if, if you watch Fox News on a basis, it is a constant menu. They will find, like, folks who make me mad. Yeah, I don't know where they find them, right? They're all like, I don't want to work. I just want a free Obama phone. Or So, Kirsten, it goes on and on. You work inside Fox. You're a liberal. Do you see that happening at Fox News? There are certainly people that come on the air from time to time who I think will, will speak about poor people in a way that I find offensive and I challenge them on. Uh, but to suggest that, that this is what you see all the time on Fox News, does the president watch Fox News all the time now? Um, you know, from sort of beginning of the day till the end of the day, it, it, it's absurd. It, it's just completely disconnected from reality. But I also just think it's not his role to be singling out a single news organization over and over. If this was a one-time event, I, I would say whatever, you know. Um, but it's not a one-time event. It's, it, is a, it is something that they, as you know, Hugh, they went out and they they systematically worked to delegitimize Fox News and say that it's not a real news organization, and we're not going to treat it as a real news news organization, and neither should other reporters. And you quote Charles Krautheimer as saying Fox plays to a very specific niche, which is 50% of yeah. the American public. That's a great quote. <laughs> exactly. Charles was on yesterday, but you also note that President Obama had come to expect nothing but media praise and ruled all criticism illegitimate. That happened at Camp David today. He actually pushed back at a reporter. Said, I don't know why you're here, but I'm here to blah, blah, blah. He really is thin skinned, isn't he? Well, yeah, I mean, I think even, you know, people, if you think back to the beginning of, of the campaign, there was that um, memo that David Axelrod wrote for him on sort of the pros and cons of running. And one of the cons was that he's thin skinned <laughs> and that he can't handle criticism, um, which, you know, if he can't handle criticism, Fine, but he's he's not allowed to silence people or try to silence people who are me- the members of the media, uh, and th- and that and that is what they have done. They have tried. Now the fact that they they haven't been successful, Fox has fought back, um, you know, and 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 has not ca- caved. But they, as I get into in the in the, in my book, they they have cut Fox News out of uh, interviews. Chris Wallace recently was complaining about the fact that. Uh, they will not let, put, send White House people onto his show while they're sending on them to all these other shows. And I mean, are we supposed to believe that Chris Wallace is some right-wing fanatic? I agree. Yeah.